Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Retail and our Maghar Shaman playthrough. Going with Enhancement Shaman for this one. And right now we're trying to get our way out of Desire Lore over to do the Missing Handler. Pretty, pretty sure I found the back way out here. Let's see. Look at that, we were able to leave the road for a minute, wow. I've only leveled through this content one time, and it was upon original release, and I didn't really go slow or read any of the quests, or really even look around at the scenery, so... A lot of this stuff is gonna feel pretty new to me. Uh, nonetheless, playing with Immersion on makes it feel a lot different. Uh, the Missing Handler. Handler Baskoji rests with his sword still held in hand. He died fighting. Okay. Pretty typical. Uh, we find a dire horn hatchling. The surviving hatchling bleats piteously as it gazes at its mother's corpse. Find someone in War Beast Crawl who cares for young dire horn. It inspects you hopefully and seems to want to follow you. Okay. Well, little buddy, we have some other things that we need to do out here before we head back, so I, I hope he stays with us uh, through everything here. Oh no, maybe it turns in right over here. I thought they were going to have us taken back to the, to the city. Uh, no, but they do want us to be up on a higher elevation. It's the elevation guessing game. Definitely very pretty here. Especially when compared to most things in the Shadowlands. Which were very artistically interesting, but uh, none of them were exactly pretty, organic feeling zones, were they? Even Ardenweald felt really strangely artificial and, and shallow. Uh, here we go. Not the way in they wanted us to take, for sure, but we found it. Are you the Horde Man I've been hearing so much about? I expected you to be a bit larger. What do you have there? Uh, we can do Dire Horn Daycare or Ravenous Land Sharks. Let's follow up with the Dire Horn. Handler Baz Koji had a real gift with the little ones. If this hatchling is following you, it must mean Bakoji is dead. I don't have time to find another handler. Are you up to the task? It's a lot of work and the little ones get attached really fast. If you're going to care for it, it will be a commitment. That baby will be depending on you. I hope you will be up to the task of feeding and protecting it. First thing first, food. There's plenty of fodder in the pens in the river below. I feel like this is all side quest stuff, but I'm probably going to do some of it. Warbeast Crawl is important to the Empire. All the beasts that haul our goods, carry our armies, and fight our wars are born and bred here. If you want Rastakhan's support, you had better impress us. I have some thoughts on where you can start. We have ourselves a Dimitrodon problem. Usually nothing to worry about, but they had a bit... Uh, had a big hatchling hatching this year. Now they're breaking into pens and eating our eggs. Kill Dimitrodons, protect our beast, and we will see about the rest. Alright, let's grab, grab the flight point here, and then uh, we have a few things to do. Nine irritable Dimitrodons slain. And we have to uh, feed the Direhorn as well in this same area. Not really clear on what it is he's going to be eating. Oh, we're probably, I guess we're clicking on the shiny things. When in doubt, look around for shiny things to click on. Look for things to kill and shiny objects. And you will succeed at about 98% of the quest in the game.
I was looking and seeing that my right hand looked empty, I forgot that we had a fist weapon equipped. Just making sure that I'm actually using all the spells I have. I guess Stormstrike is what we're waiting for at level 20. Uh, do I have my weapons enchanted properly? Probably not. So Wind Fury and Flame Tongue is I guess what we're going with. And you guys let me know if, I, if I'm not using the proper weapon enchants or stuff like that. Those of you who are playing Shamans in retail, I would love to get some of your feedback. Uh, because I think I'm going to like the class a lot. I've been really loving it in Classic. It's not a class that I've spent a lot of time on. Uh, and I think I'm gonna like it though, so I would like I'd love to get some good feedback on how to be a decent enhancement shaman. And yeah, I could go on Wildhead and read guides, but I, I'd rather hear a little bit from you guys. I might read guides as well, but I, I love to get your guys' feedback and your experiences with classes. This should be the last bit of food he needs for this one. There we go. Now we need to find a few more Demetrodons. Lightning Bolt does decent damage. There's no reason not to pull with it, I guess. As long as it's doing that big chunk of damage up front, I'll, I'll open with it. Alright, that's that. Those two are done. Let's head back. Uh, let's take the trinket. Because I don't think we have a trinket. Your beast is looking well fed. Good. Try and keep it that way. Now, next you need to teach your little one to defend itself. Dire horns in the wild are prey to much larger creatures, and the young are easy pickings for the Sarid and their like. Go out into the Savage Lands and show... The Savage Lands? Really? Like from X-Men? The Savage Lands? They got away with that? It's not copyright? <laughs> Alright, yeah, the Savage Lands is great. I love dinosaurs, and I love the Savage Lands, so... It's good. Talk to me. Nice little critter you got there. Seems a tad too small to be much more than a nuisance, though. Want to help a friend and make a profit? There's an abundance of opportunity here, but these trolls won't listen to me. Tell you what, I can make a supplement of sorts that'll make hair grow on your chest, or on your hatchling's chest. Uh, I don't know if I want any hair to grow on him. He looks like he's not supposed to have hair. But, you know, it's a quest and this is WoW, so we kind of have to do it. Kind of don't have a choice. We're obviously doing, like, really side questy stuff. We have Telgarub we can come up to. Let, let's do these for a little bit more and uh, then we'll go do the main story stuff. I really wish, like, markers on the map could also delineate between main story and side content. 
that would really help people who are trying to do like story playthroughs of time walking if they knew exactly what quest they should do to to get the main story and what was kind of a side quest. Obviously, I run into stuff like this and I think, well, gee, this looks like a bunch of side quests, right? But like, the way WoW has trained me is that I, I can't skip this stuff because I know it's going to be right nearby. And if we skip it, we're just giving up experience, right? Let's see. Queen Feather. Ah, so you are the one who inherited Bazjol's herd. What is left of it, anyway? I know what killed him, and I tried to warn him. Queen Feather is a vicious ravensaur, bigger than the rest of, and smarter as well. Most of the eggs around here are hers. I usually praise the strength of such a beast, but she has become a nuisance. You will find her guarding her nest in the feeding grounds, kill her, and bring back one of her feathers as proof that the deed is done. Ah, uh, wanted any hunters worthy of the challenge, find and defeat the troll known as Jabber Khan. Okay. Uh, again, like I said, it just stacks quest upon quest upon quest. You, you really can't turn them down because you're in the area anyway. Uh, let's see. Hatchling commanded to fight. Okay, I'm assuming we're gonna have to like intercede here as well though. Okay, so yeah, that's all there is to it. We can command him to fight any of these things. That's actually good. Uh, he's on cooldown for a couple seconds. Let's draw this out for a bit and then we'll have him attack. This is Queen Feather. This is the named one that killed the previous herder. Maybe it's because this is uh, in a, a tough boss, a tough fight, but I, I felt a little bit more powerful as Elemental, honestly. We're going to stick this out for now. I think it's going to change for us once we get Storm Strike. We'll probably feel a little power boost. Could be that that guy just had more HP being a quest mob. Alright, we'll get our last bit of carrion over here, and then we need two more fights with our dire horn. Let's go here.
And let's head up here for a minute and see if we can find the poacher. Alright, well it shows him as an elite. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Famous last words, I guess. Uh, I am going to get a heal off here, though. Maybe even two heals. Yeah. I guess I could use my mount, but it's such a beautiful environment that I actually don't mind walking through it. Imagine that. Speak your business. Good, now that the bloodthirsty matriarch is gone, maybe we can plant one of ours back into the brood as a replacement. Go, Kevin. Well, there's level 15, we do have a talent point. Uh, let's see, Lashing Flames, Lava Lash now increases damage of Flame Shock by 100%. Or Wind Fury causes each successive Wind Fury attack within 15 seconds to increase the damage of Wind Fury. Seems good for longer fights, which we're not going to have a lot of. Or Elemental Blast, harness the raw power of the elements, dealing 90 elemental damage and increasing your crit strike and haste. Or haste by 3% or mastery by 6%. Uh, I'm going to go with the Lashing Flames. We're having really short fights. And I think a flat increase to Flame Shock's damage after we Lava Lash is decent. For shorter fights. The rest of it seems like it might be good if we were doing raid bosses and stuff. I see a gleam of confidence in your hatchling's eyes. Good. It will need it. It seems your little one needs a moment to rest after that adventure. I will look after it. If you want to make yourself useful while you wait, I heard the Pterodaxes of the North have been laying lots of eggs recently. Go collect the ones that are wing wiggling and, make and making noises. They are about to hatch. Our beasts breed well, but we always need more wings for the crawl. Uh, listen, I need one more thing to finish making this supplement of mine. Direhorn growth hormones can't exactly be made without, you know, actual direhorn. Yeah, I got it. You, wa you want us to, like, kill some direhorn? I don't know if I'm okay with that. Don't really... Like, partially... No, look at partially digested direhorn flesh. Okay. Alright. Sounds disgusting and awful, but let's go do it. Don't know exactly what this thing is doing. Oh, he's fighting somebody. Of course he's fighting somebody. That's why he's acting erratically. Makes sense. Thought he was glitching out.
I could really use some AoE here, but I don't think we have any. I don't even think we would have any as elemental, would we? Maybe we'd have Chain Lightning. Oh, we need health. Yeah, health is usually good. We've got all the eggs we need, now we just need the partially digested direhorn flesh. And there we go. Uh, we have Talgarub right here. I'm going to run back to the south first and turn these in. Kind of try to focus this little hub down a little bit more see what it leads into. Well, sorry for the bit of a time jump there, guys. I had a hard drive issue. Basically ran out of space where I was sending my recordings and didn't realize it till that was going on for a while, so yeah. Future Robert here, uh, back with us. We finished up some side quest stuff with the Dire Horn, and we basically brought two Brutosaurs together in mating so that they will make little baby Brutosaurs. And now we're actually doing main story stuff, uh, helping Zul the Prophet out up here. He wants us to collect some soul energy and do a few other things for him, like find these totems. Don't really know if we should be helping this guy or not, uh, but that's what we're doing right now. And this does seem to be part of the main story arc. So sorry for the jump ahead there. Usually even side quest stuff, I, I will keep it in, I won't cut it out, but... That was uh, not my choice, that was just by my own ignorance and inattentiveness. Well, this druid just rounded up a bunch of things, actually, and they are killing them all pretty quickly. We have all the soul essence we need, now we just need some of these totems. I think we also need... yeah, we need totems. We need to do something with this brazier. Oh, we need to put the totems into that. So we need to get the totems first before we interact with the brazier. And apparently we're kicking guys into their own cauldrons. Uh, because they are the missing ingredient. Yeah.
Only Voljamba can save us. Talk. Alright, that's the first round of quest done here. Let's go back and see what Zul has to say. I'm sure he's going to have more shenanigans for us to do up here. Uh, we can now interact with this brazier. brazier. The brazier burns brightly. As the fire chews away at the totems, the Gurubashi spirits rise from the ashes. The other side, be open to us. Thanks, Mon. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. We freed some spirits. Seems like a good thing to have done. You're making a mistake. Vision or not, you wasted Rustakon's patience. There are consequences, boy. All right, so we're not calling off the assault. The trolls were first to rule this world, and we shall be the last. Fight fire with fire, they say, or in this case, poison with idiots who chew the ankles of their betters. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, let's take the ring. All according to plan. Do not worry for them. This was always their fate. Voljamba thinks his sight has surpassed mine. I warned against such arrogance many years ago, but we see how well he listened. Zul chuckles. No doubt he will attempt to deter us as we encroach upon his sanctum. Listen if you like, but remember that he is desperate to save himself. His truth is distorted by fear. Destroy his mask and we will walk unharmed through this passage. I am feeling generous. I will hear you all. Get away! Here, Do not touch it! The vision goes like this. Golden sails mark the final coming. The manipulator seeks to break the seal. I mean, it sounds like Zul is probably the manipulator, if I had to guess, based on what little we know of him. But let's just play along and act like we don't know anything. This is important! Listen! Buffeted by a current of lies, the High Throne will be unmoved. It, too, will be crushed beneath the wheel. All right. Ah! Lower above, just let me finish! <laughs> we are letting you finish. Strings of fate, bending the Empire to its will. I'm listening to all In of it. End, even the Great King will be made to kneel. Okay, do you have anything else to say? Meddling insect! There's a special place on the other side for you. Mm-hmm. Betrayal, the doom of an empire, and a threat against the king. Now that is a properly dramatic prophecy. Oh, uh, we got a great sea scroll. Dust falls from the scroll case as you retrieve it, my revealing my an ornate my. etching. What is this? Okay. We all have our parts to play. As I said, his truth is distorted by fear. Okay, we need to take the trinket. Zul's ethical dilemma. Hmm. The Gurubashi have earned the reputation for betrayal and weakness. Their activities in Zilgarub will be a stain on our records for generations to come. On the other hand, the Zandalari are above the use of slaves. We are strong, capable. The very existence of mind slaves is this in this city is insulting. There is a chat a chant that will free their minds. Use it near the mind slaves to free them. Or you can simply kill them. It makes no difference. Oh, oh good. Great. Uh Zuvembi brew is arguably a witch doctor's most insidious concoction driven by the cauldron's master strength of mind. Zuvembi brew takes the will of those who breathe its fumes. It makes them compliant, easily manipulated. 
It is low magic relying on ancient cantrips and recipes known only to witch doctors of certain skill. If we want to eradicate this brew, we must slay those that brew it. You, deal with this. Bojamba waits atop of the temple. Meet me there. We are gonna have bag space issues, uh, like, right now. Like, we're, we're just, we have bag space issues. Which is, uh, not great. So we can free the mind slaves or we can fight them. I'm gonna try to free them. Uh, you are not a mind slave. You are a chosen. You, I think we have to kill. You're shooting a blowgun at our face, so yeah, we're gonna go with kill on this one. Preparing for the fall, large quantity of supplies are scattered throughout the temple grounds, much of it under heavy guard. The Jambani appear to be preparing for a siege or another significant event. Zul would likely think it wise to stemmy their efforts. Okay. You will not live to the oh, shoot. Uh, this is not good. I don't think we can take all these guys. And we don't need them all. Hmm. I want it. It's just going to be a really long fight, apparently. Yeah. Because we can take them all, one at a time, and very slowly. I find it funny when we destroy stockpiles instead of, you know, taking them for ourselves. Like, why would we destroy, uh, decent food? It doesn't really make sense. Let's just burn it, yeah. That sounds like a stupid plan, but that's what we're doing. It's nice playing through Battle for Azeroth, we're actually coming across other players pretty frequently, whereas every other time walking campaign I've done, that hasn't really been the case. Yeah. Usually it just feels like we're the only living thing in the world. Uh, which is not good. Okay, what else do we need here? We need to free some more mind slaves. All I'm finding are chosen. I'm not I'm not finding any oh, there's one over here. Uh, hey, no, we, uh, we wanted to, to free you. Let's come over here and free these guys. I don't know if maybe there's an achievement for going non-lethal here. There's probably nothing, but I, I did want to try uh, for the non-lethal approach. That being said, I'm just not finding a lot of mind slaves. And we have to kind of get to them before people kill them, which is a little bit of a challenge. Let's come over here, we'll get the last two that we need, hopefully. There we go. Alright, now we can go... Uh, slay Zakal. Okay, yep, that's what somebody would say when they're breathing the vapors. I will never submit. And yet you're dead. I have 
I've seen how this world ends, and you're not gonna like it. See, destroying their stockpiles will make them easier to eradicate once Rastakhan decides to deal with it. Yeah, but taking their stockpiles could have helped us. While Jabba is busy consolidating his power, his sight has shown him that he will fight, and perhaps even that he will die. And so he looks to all his tools to save himself. I will need you to be my hands, as he will come as soon as I show myself. You will undo all the preparations he has made for this day. Do as I say, and we will both find ourselves enjoying the king's favor. Take the seal I have given you, and stamp it on the gong. His minions will try to stop you. Stay alert. Alright, sure. Now set the urn near the archway. Good. Now, switch out one of Voljamba's you potions will not live long with the enough one I gave. It will be the first fall. one you set your eyes on. No second guessing it now. Come here. It is time. Kind of wondering if we can just lease these guys. Uh, we probably can, but we don't want to die while doing it. Yeah, there we go, that worked. Don't know that the Earthbind Totem actually helped us there at all, or if they just leashed. I have seen many great events. Zul rubs his hands together. And Good, now we are ready to draw him out. It is time to end Voljamba. I want you to I want to make one thing clear. He can still kill you. Your fate, more so than mine, hangs on your ability to fight this former student of mine. He will bring Mask and Voodoo and he, he will do everything within his power to end you. All we have done is taken away his ability to cheat. Good luck, for your sake I hope you do not fail. The Troll Empire shall rise again. I have foreseen it. And here he is. I tire of this game. You delivered your message. Now, it is time to face your fate. We both know I will not die by your hand. You cannot stop me. You are right. I will not. But my friend will. You are not ahead of me, old man. It is you who will die here. No. I will not die here. It is not my time. It would have been cool if we had got to fight him ourselves in like our own instance. And not no. just have him get bleeped out of existence by a bunch of other players. I was not able to teach him the most important lesson of all. You must plan, even for the futures you have not seen. Fair enough. Death is a tool, do not forget that. Now that this nuisance is out of the way, I can return my focus to the city. Zoldazar has languished while I was away. You should return to Rastakhan, let the king know that, this will, that his will has been carried out and that this false prophet is no more. You might think to share Voljamba's prophecy with him, if you feel it is worth his notice. I cannot say it will change anything at all. Dread days are ahead. Let all Rastakhan all right. know. I will return in my own time. Uh, let's oh, head up to... Thanks for all your help. Yeah, 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 sure. 
I'm sure you're really grateful, buddy. Let's head up the route to uh, Nezingwari's camp and see what's on, see what's going on over there. We'll get the flight point, and that will allow us to fly back whenever we're ready to do that. Uh, again here, it looks like there's a special way they want us to leave this place. Like, we're not able to just, like, climb a wall and go into the hills. We have to literally follow some uh, preordained pathway out of here. Maybe we need to come up over this way. Kind of just want to be able to climb over stuff, if I'm being honest. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like we can. Maybe we can get to the road down here. Yeah, it looks like that'll get us there, and then we could turn to the north. Yeah, that's kind of my big gripe with all of modern WoW zone design, is they, they kind of des design everything like a maze. You have to find the correct path through the maze to get where you're going. Instead of being able to take like a more open path and kind of go cross-country and explore and feel like you're not on a road all the time, they really really make you just run on the road. Like, we can try to cut across country here, but I can see ahead that we're going to get cordoned in. We're, we're going to get pushed back to the... See, we're already being pushed back to the road. It's like, not only do you have to take the road, they design the landscapes to kind of coerce you back to the road with hills and trees, and... Yeah, you're not really free to roam around. And I really hope that with Dragonflight, they do what they've said, and they create bigger, more open zones. I hope they send us further out to do a quest... And I hope that we can take our own way to get there and not have to follow roads everywhere. It doesn't make sense for there to be too many roads on a place like the Dragon Isles, so one can hope that the sense of exploration will kind of return a little bit. Uh, because, yeah, as beautiful as the landscapes are, you just don't experience them the same way when you don't have to explore, when you, when you take a road everywhere. It's really not the same. Hunt for King Katal. Hunters, this challenge be for the King of the Preserves. King Katal is a mighty predator, smart and fast. Gold and honor await the hunter who brings me the head of the king. Find and defeat the dueling giant Direhorn and Devil Sword named Null Ixwan and Tengor. Their never ending battle has disrupted travel throughout Zoldazar. And here's Hemet. What's on your mind? Welcome to the hunt. Old Wild Tusk has withstood years of attacks by young hunters that are overgeared and underskilled. None could take him. His wounds have finally done him in. He just won't go down. Find that crazy river beast bull and help him let go of his mortal shell. See you soon. Hmm. A thorn in the side. You fools speak of big game hunting like it is a thing of wonder. Bah. None know big game hunting like my kin. Mastery of the hunt passed down from parent to child for generations. I am here to prove it. I wager that you could not slay more than 11 of the Ankylodon beasts that wander this region. Oh, we can't? So we'll slay 12. We'll show you. What? Oh, a worgen. That's weird and out of place. Uh, we are competing, you and I and these other savages. I find this amusing. South of here, you will find a number of Demetrodons. I challenge you, Shaman, to slay more of these creatures than I. Do you accept my wager? So, slay eight. Okay, so he's gonna slay seven, I guess. Perfect. Yeah, we can do some of this stuff. It's obviously, like, side questy stuff, but... It feels like it would be a waste to not do it. It is kind of free experience.
And there's another quest over here to pick up. There's a wound in his back, possibly from a knife. It seems more than the wildlife is fighting back out here. Okay. I should probably heal up. Well, here is King Katal. Uh, he is an elite. Should probably be able to take him out? I guess we'll see. Uh, no, no, I don't, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. No, not by ourselves. Uh, yeah, what's, what's the deal with this one? Skull of Katal. Okay, yeah, we definitely need him, but I just don't think that we're supposed to be doing this by ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna run out of mana eventually. Seems like he's just gonna keep dealing more and more damage to us. Uh, and we are gonna be Oom. So yeah, I don't really know about this one. Maybe we don't do this quest. That could be a thing. Nature locked. Well, that's gonna be a way to get us killed. Uh, we reincarnated. Yeah, he's healed up. We're not. We're not doing this one. <laughs> That's a pretty easy decision, right? Just not do it. Skipped. Consider it skipped.
We haven't really been seeing a lot of the Demetrodons. Uh, there's one here and one here, so... But uh, besides these guys, haven't seen very many. I probably need to stop wasting my Earth Shock like that. And, you know, save it for somebody who has a full bar of health would be smart. Let's grab our last Demetra down here so we can be done with this one. That'll clean up our map tracking a little bit. Wild Tusk here is not an elite, so I feel like we have a better chance with him. Having Flame Tongue weapon on would be smart, I guess. Not having it on is definitely stupid, so... Ouch. You see the teeth of a brutal trap dug into the fallen hunter's leg. There seem to be darts piercing his armor. You see the shocked look frozen on his face. He never saw what killed him. Uh, blood trolls, maybe? I don't know. And yeah, we're not doing the skull of Katal? Or no, 
Yeah, Katal is the is the elite. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that. Nope. If we come across him and other players are fighting him and they have a group, then yeah, definitely we'll jump on it, but not right now. It does not seem as though Tracker Burke was prepared for what befell him. He appears to be covered in small punctures and lacerations. Okay, yeah, somebody has taken these guys out. Fortunately for you, he appears to have stashed his wager in his hat. Yeah, I'm sure that's what we're happy about, right? Hey, he's dead. Died horribly, but at least we got the money he we bet on. Yeah, these guys have all been offed. Iraq the aloof. Oh, man. The fresh corpse of a rock appears to have been slain from behind by darts and is disturbingly missing some pieces. Conveniently, the prize money of his wager still adorns his body. The one thing our character actually cares about. Is Hemet dead? Uh, he's not here. Do you need protection? Weird. Go carefully. I serve the Zandalari. Watch yourself within our city. Hunting the hunter, your hunter king, Nezingwary, is a mighty fine bit of prey here. I even thought him hunting I even thought of hunting him myself. But someone else is on his trail now, and that hunter, he is a dangerous one. If you wish to save your hunter king, you best start tracking quickly. If he made camp, you may be too late already. You cannot paint a target and wonder why you were shot. Our kingdom will be defended. Okay, that's a bit brutal. Just taking all these guys out. Let's grab the flight point here. And I actually think this is going to be a good place for us to fly back to town. And let's let's do that first before we follow up. I'm sure Nessingwary will be fine, right? He's probably going to be okay. So let's fly back to town. We'll talk to the king and kind of get our main plot thread going again from there. And we'll be back out this way to finish this up. I just want to kind of find out what our next direction is for the main story bits. I actually didn't realize Ghost Wolf was instant, otherwise I would have been using it a lot more. I thought it was something we had to cast. But no, you just press it. Oops, wrong way. King, you are in great peril. I see encroaching enemies claiming the throne for themselves. They near Warport Rastari as I speak. 
We should retreat to Zanchul while it is still an option. Habutu, Zolani, take the speaker of the horde and ensure the warpot is safe. Today is not the final day of my reign. Hmm. Yeah, Zul's just trying to get him out of the city. Trying to get him to retreat. Perhaps Zul will remember his place going forward. All is as my prophet said. Now perhaps you will see why I keep him by my side. A port in peril. A group of Mogu have taken hold of Warport Rastari and now threaten to encroach further into my city. It would seem Zul is losing his grip over his pets. That port is vital to our military fleet. If the brutes succeed, Zeldazar will fall, and there won't be a fleet to aid your precious horde. You wish to prove yourself an ally of the Zandalari? Meet my blade and shield at the port and clean up this mess. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, down at the port. Oh, way over that way. We have the flight point down here. That might get us a little closer. Speaking of all that stuff, uh, we should probably do a couple of things. The first thing I think we need to do is vendor. The second thing I need to do is figure out uh, where I can get a hearthstone. That would be cool. Innkeeper. Okay, so in here I can get a hearthstone. That's that's perfect. Let's go ahead and do that. What do you require? And let's sell everything that is not an upgrade. Alright, there we go. And guys, before we go check out the port, I think this is actually going to be a good place to take a little bit of a break. When we come back, we will check out the port in peril. And we'll probably head back out to Nessingwari's place and deal with the side quest out there as well. Uh, still got uh, four story chapters here to go in Zoldazar. And I'm hoping after that we can come up and see some stuff in Nazmir. I'm also kind of hoping that it's it's going to be long enough of a questing journey for us to see a little bit of all three zones. It's only three zones, so I hope we can see a bit of it before we hit level level 50. Uh, judging by our progress so far, I'd say yeah, we, we probably could. We might want to stick to some of the main story bits. I feel like if I get too wrapped up in doing every single side quest, we're not going to get to see a lot of Voldoon. We might get to see most of Zoldazar and Nazmir. But I kind of want to see the main threads of everything, so I might focus the main story stuff. I usually don't do that because when you don't grab the side quest, it feels like you're not being efficient. But for what I'm going through in the playthrough, which is to see as much of the story and lore as possible while leveling the character up, I, I think that's what we might do, is really focus the main story stuff. And hey, if we get to a point where we're not level 50 and we've made progress with the main story, uh, we can always come back and do the side content later on. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. And thank you for being here and for spending some of your time with me in Azeroth. I do greatly appreciate it. And a special thank you to those of you who are with me on Patreon and our members on the YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. It is that kind of direct support that will help me keep doing what I do long into the future. So thank you so much to those that do. Everyone take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Zoldazar sometime soon. Bye now.